The theme of the show, uh, which came out of a film of Ukrainian filmmaker Alexander Dovzhenko, a poem of an inland sea, uh, his whole life, and especially in that last script he made that was never produced as a film, uh, asked who are the Ukrainians, where are the Ukrainians, and what does it mean to be Ukrainian? And uh, when you have over 100,000 Brits and Americans living in Kiev alone, 40,000 Germans, etc., etc., every 15th person down this walking down the street is from somewhere else. And so why not ask outsiders to answer those three questions that Dovzhenko asked in the film under the umbrella of uh, the exhibition title poem of an inland sea. Jorgen Teller actually did a major photo shoot for W Magazine. It's actually the outcome of the ex for the exhibit. So each, each artist dealt with it in a completely different way. I really enjoyed being there and I really loved the people. They're very friendly. They're very extremely open to be photographed. I'm observing it and have fun with it, you know. So what's there, I pick up and, and use. Sam Taylor Wood created uh, uh, three new videos for us and these works are very much about painting and video, the whole aspect, that, that kind of bridge. I think it was an interesting idea to, to make a mixture of international artists and Ukrainian ones. I think, you know, it. It just brings um, a different audience in, possibility, possibly, and uh, yeah, and opens up a whole lot of debate about uh, national identity. I think you have Serhiy Bratkov, who created a brand new work about a steel factory in Dnipropetrovsk, which is on the river Dnieper, major industrial uh, zone. Then you have Puerto Rican artist Design, who actually lives in Ukrainian. Uh, neighborhood in Chicago, so you're surrounded by diaspora Ukrainians. I kind of felt strange about doing a project about Ukrainian identity because I'm from Chicago and I'm Puerto Rican, and I just I didn't know how to approach the whole subject. So when I was there, I did some investigating and I found that the, the there's a river called the Dnipro River, and it separates old and new Kiev. So the concept that I came up with was creating a vessel or a platform that separates. Uh, I wanted to kind of create a voice that. Um, going from old to new and the river kind of symbolized this so I thought the best way was to make a boat. You have Boris Mikhailov, kind of the grandfather of the Ukrainian art scene, you know, going to Kharkiv, his hometown where it all started for him and really examining the people, his neighbors, more so than ever before and really kind of uh, unearthing uh, kind of the underbelly of society in Kharkiv. I try to find what is important now in my country and uh, what is important for my eyes. And I find and I try to show this in uh, my picture. And of course Mark Titchener um, adding something very unique. I like Mark's thought process and how he makes his work and how he thinks about the work. I think he actually exceeded any of my expectations by both the kind of the moving piece and the text piece. I'm not Ukrainian, but it doesn't mean that that isn't an interesting proposition for an artist to try and work out a way of working, uh, making works for a pavilion from a country you're not from. And also, the more I thought about it, it was like, all those problems to do with sort of nationality and nationhood, and also the nature of the Biennale. Like, I would have had those problems if I was representing a country that I came from. Like, it's, it's, it's just I took it, took it as being interesting source material and having to adapt which is what normally happens for any exhibition anyway.